The race to watch this spring is for the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Today, the candidates met for their only debate. Sam Kramer's live in Madison, where their winner will help decide issues like abortion access, a topic I guess came up today. That's a pretty educated guess. It is a good guess indeed. And frankly, the balance of power on this court is in your hands. Two weeks from now, either former Justice Daniel Kelly or Judge Janet Protasewicz will join the court and again tip the balance of power, either conservative or liberal today. Both say that they can rule fairly, but doubt their opponent can do the same. On the same stage for the first time, meet the two candidates in a contentious race for a spot on Wisconsin Supreme Court. I am running against probably one of the most extreme partisan characters in the history of this state. She would forever afterwards be known as being bought and paid for by the Democratic Party of Wisconsin. Milwaukee County Circuit Court Judge Janet Protasewicz defended her decades of experience, saying former Justice Daniel Kelly's supporters cherry-picked a few of her thousands of sentences to make her look bad in commercials. I haven't heard anything about people that I've sentenced to decades of imprisonment. I haven't heard anything like that. She says she'll recuse herself from cases involving state Democrats who've donated to her campaign, but not on a challenge to the state's 1849 abortion law, despite receiving money from pro-choice groups like Planned Parenthood. Kelly is endorsed by pro-life groups like Wisconsin Right to Life. He says he won't bring his politics to the bench. I don't talk about my politics. I understand what a court is supposed to do, and that's resolving legal questions. Instead, Kelly described himself as a servant of the public while downplaying criticism for receiving payments in exchange for advising state Republicans during the fake elector scheme right after the 2020 election. Now, this was the only debate that both Kelly and Protosewitz agreed to before the election. And as you might imagine, after that debate, both campaigns declaring victory. But we won't actually know the real winner until two weeks from now. We're live tonight in Madison, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. We will all be here. Sam, thank you.